Welcome to the Game Week 12 team selection. With the international break drawing to a close, it's time to turn our attention to our Game Week 12 transfer plans. As usual, no transfer has been made as of yet, but providing the rest of the squad are fit and available, and there are no other pressing issues, Nick Pope will come in to replace Ben Foster. The 25-year-old goalkeeper has deputised for the injured Tom Heaton since Game Week 4, picking up four clean sheets in seven Premier League starts, and has some promising fixtures still to come. Phil Jones and Raheem Sterling are both doubtful, so the plan is to hold on for updates to their injuries before using the free transfer. Here's how the team will likely shape up for Game Week 12. With Newcastle's Rob Elliott travelling to face Manchester United, and West Brom's Ben Foster hosting Chelsea, it will likely be Nick Pope who comes in to start between the sticks. Burnley host a Swansea side that have scored just seven times this season. Only Crystal Palace have managed fewer goals. Cedric Suarez drops to the bench for the trip to Anfield, leaving Kyle Norton, Phil Jones and Ben Mee as the starting defenders. Only Manchester United have scored fewer goals than Burnley over the last four game weeks, while only Crystal Palace have fewer goals to their name than Swansea this season, so the odds are in favour of a low-scoring game between Burnley and Swansea. With 8 clean sheets in 11 Premier League games so far, Manchester United will be looking to keep things tight during their home fixture against Newcastle in Game 12. Reports suggest that Phil Jones is confident that he can recover from his calf injury in time. After his impressive performance for England, Ruben loftus cheek comes in as Crystal Palace hosts an out-of-form Everton side. They've conceded 10 times over their last 4 games, only Stoke have conceded more goals over that period. Raheem Sterling withdrew from the England squad due to a back injury, but could return for the trip to Leicester this weekend. Tammy Abraham remains on the bench as backup. Watford's Richarlison also lines up, ahead of his home fixture against a West Ham side that have conceded 10 goals over the last 4 game weeks. On par with Everton, and only Stoke have conceded more goals during the same period. After his brace against West Ham last game week, Mo Salah comes into the home fixture against Southampton in good form. His tally of 10 shots on target during the last four game weeks is better than any other Premier League player. And finally, Christian Eriksen completes the midfield ahead of the trip to Arsenal. Having scored just once in the last four game weeks, the Spurs midfielder is far from his best, but his tally of 8 shots on target during away games this season can be bettered only by Kane, Salah and Lukaku. Having scored twice for Belgium against Mexico last Friday, Romelu Lukaku will be more confident ahead of the home fixture against Newcastle this weekend. Despite failing to score in the last four game weeks, he's provided the assist for both Manchester United goals during that period. Harry Kane completes the lineup ahead of the away trip to Arsenal. After resting throughout the international break, the Spurs forward should be in good shape for the North London derby. He scored six goals in his five previous Premier League games against Arsenal. There are three main contenders for captaincy within the squad for Game Week 12. Mo Salah has been consistent this season and is in strong form ahead of the home fixture against Southampton. Harry Kane has a good record against Arsenal and will be looking to build on his eight Premier League goals so far this season, but Romelu Lukaku is wearing the armband as things stand. The Manchester United forward has been directly involved in 10 Premier League goals this season and Jose Mourinho's side will surely return to their more attacking style of football against Newcastle having made it through the tough fixtures against Liverpool, Spurs and Chelsea. Follow FPL Tips on Twitter to be notified of any updates to the team in advance of the game week deadline.